pageantry is a dynamic mosaic where beauty and purpose intertwine, transforming contestants into passionate advocates for change. Each participant steps onto the stage not just to dazzle, but to shine a spotlight on vital social issues, be it education, health, or environmental sustainability. With every twirl and every word, they weave stories that inspire action and ignite conversations, proving that a crown can be more than just a symbol. It can be a powerful tool for advocacy. In this realm, grace becomes a catalyst for change, showing that true beauty lies in the courage to uplift and empower others. And to tell us more about the pageanty world and what it offers, we have with us tonight the reigning Mrs. Philippines USA 2024, Rachel May Ayunayon Paredes. Good evening, Rachel. Good evening. Thank you so much for coming here. The pleasure is mine. So glad to have you stop by the studio from Thank the you. States. Um, before we get started um, on, on finding out about um, Mrs. Philippines USA as a pageant in itself, tell us about how you began your journey in pageantry to begin with. I know that there was a great story behind this. I know, like my mom pushed me to join different pageants, started with Little Miss Shanna, to joining a pageant in USD, to like even this Mrs. Philippines USA. At first, I was not really into it, but when my mom told me this is like a benefit and will if I win, I will be given an opportunity to share the proceeds to my chosen charity. I was like, this is it, I should do it. <laughs> okay, so Mrs. Philippines USA, so that is the pageant title in itself. You don't yes. have to go off uh, to another competition, correct? Yes, Okay, correct. so that is the main title. We're very, very honored to have you here with us. Thank you. Um, but what makes Mrs. Philippines USA as a pageant different from all the other pageants out there? The main purpose of the um, of the pageant is to be able mm -hmm. to help. So once you win, the proceeds will go to your chosen charity. So part of that, we if you're the winner, you will get a cash prize. You will get a round trip ticket to Philippines. At the same time, you will be able to raise awareness to your advocacy, which is for me is to help community-based rehabilitation in Binangon and Rizal. Okay. So you mentioned earlier as we were chatting um, that <laughs> you have an upcoming event at uh, CBR or community-based Binangonan uh, Rizal, uh, which is a re rehab center for um, anyone that might need it. Uh, what specific outcomes do you hope to achieve uh, at the com upcoming event uh, a few days from now? Yes, well, there are two main objectives on this. Um, trip of mine. One is to raise awareness regarding the need of the children with special needs and the second is to also raise awareness about my profession. I'm a doctor of physical therapy in the United States and I want to raise awareness to Filipinos because most of the time there's a misconception between massage therapists and physical therapists and I want to bring awareness that physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech language pathologists and sports scientists help work hand in hand to become to help these children to get a little bit of normalcy in their lives. Okay, of course, we're very interested to know um, your journey, you know, as you decided to join um, This is Philippines USA. Tell us about um, what specific challenges, if any, that you faced um, and, and that you overcame um, when you decided to, to join this event. When I joined the event, well, at first, it was really hard because I just gave birth to a baby at that time. So when they asked me to, are you, are you interested in signing up or joining this competition? In the back of my head, I'm not physically fit. I don't think I'm ready. But just like what I told you earlier, I do believe in the verse, which is Philippians chapter like four, verse 13. I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So after like absorbing that, I was oh, completely, pushing myself that I can do this. If this is the will of the God, of my God, I'll be able to accomplish this. And I'm truly grateful for that. But yeah, Rachel, I'm just wondering, how many months uh, prior did you give birth before you decided to um, join? I'm sure you were, you were actually um, invited, you mentioned, by um, your aunt, yes. right? Who was part of um, a community of Filipinos that's actually a main founder. Tell us about that. Yes, so my, actually I just gave birth like five months <laughs> prior to that. I was probably 50 pounds heavier. And I said like, you know what? My heart is to help other people, so I don't care 
what it takes, I will do whatever it is. And yes, my aunt was the one who introduced this um, Filipino Social Club of New York. It's the or oldest organization in the United States. And as, as a matter of fact, this, uh, um, this pageant has been ongoing for years and mm -hmm. I'm so happy to be the reigning queen of this competition. Okay, so um, right now, uh, you are Mrs. Philippines 2024, Mrs. Philippines USA, USA 2024. What do you think it means being Mrs. Philippines USA 2024 as a Filipina? Um, you are now based in the United States. You have a successful, uh, thriving practice. Mm -hmm. um, but what do you think it means to hold that kind of title? The main reason for me in joining us this competition is I want to raise the awareness of camaraderie or kababa, yung when it comes to like helping our Filipino communities. So I was born and raised here, my culture, I was already molded in the Philippines. And being in a different foreign country and having all this means, I feel I have the need to give back to our Filipino, Fili fellow Pil Filipino community. So I'm truly grateful for that opportunity. So you mentioned earlier that part of um, the, the pageant, uh, the, the, the proceeds you mentioned is going to go back to your chosen uh, charity of choice. Yes. Okay. Um, tell us about CBR. Have you been there before? Why did you pick it? And why does this resonate with you? Um, well, I worked, when I was an intern, I did a rotation in Missionaries of Charity in, in Manila. Mm -hmm. And these are non for profit organization. So I chose Binangon and Rizal CBR because I am from Rizal, I was actually from Antipolo Rizal, and I wanna give back to my community. That's why I chose this, um, this organization. Okay, physical therapy, that is a very interesting profession, but of course there are some connotations, and I would say uh, misconnotations about it as well, um, that it is just strictly for massage therapy. How important do you think physical therapy is um, as a profession and also in impacting people's lives? Yes, so what we most, like, yeah, there's a huge stigma regarding physical therapists and massage therapists, which is really hard to break in, the, in our country, but we help people who have stroke, people who have like cerebral palsy, people who have different ailments, whether it is neurological, orthopedic, and a lot of like different issues and we try to help them as much as we can by giving them like proper therapeutic ex exercise or therapeutic activities just to make sure that they get back to their normal activities of daily living. Okay, so you're heading back to the United States yes. after um, you visit CBR. Um, people that would like to also give back and volunteer in CBR, how do they get involved? Do they have a website? Yes, they do have a website and they can also communicate directly to the director, which is Ms. Sheen Tenendoza. If they wanna volunteer or even give like financial support, they can communicate through their website. Thank you. Okay. We're very excited to see, um, you know, what other differences you make throughout the year. 2024 isn't over yet. Yeah. And we're also very honored and humble that you visited the station today before you decided to, to leave the motherland. <laughs> I know. Thank yes. you so much. For so we me. wish you the best of luck in continuing your advocacy, not just here in the Philippines, but also in the United States. Thank you very much, Rachel, for dropping by the station. Such an honor. Thank you so much. We're